Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Doing good, thanks. What are we doing for you today? So my brother is considering moving to Utah. Okay. And he asked me while I'm here, I'm here visiting from Colorado. So he asked me if I could pick up some information about exchanging his are driver's you license. Not because you can't come in. I, why not? Because I don't want you to. Well, this is a public office. And I'm a state employee, and I don't want you to film me, so you can turn that off. Turn that off. Okay. How's it going, guys? I'm against it press, and we are coming to you today from Springville, Utah. We are at the state of Utah. Department of Public Safety Driver License Division here in Springville. Um, we're just going to pay a little visit on these folks here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Um, I am out with Watching the Watchman today. And uh, let me give you a little view of the neighborhood and the beautiful scenery here. You can see those mountains in the background. It's a little hazy out. But uh, beautiful landscape nevertheless. So uh, let me get out by the road here and just give you a view of what's going on. We are on sort of like a, uh, I don't want to say industrial, but it's that kind of an area, that kind of a uh, building set up. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Wednesday, June 16th. It is exactly 12 noon. And it is 88 degrees, bone dry, and hot for me, warm for some, here in Springville, Utah. Hey, make it out, Watchman. Wow. Want to go see what kind of signs we have on the door? Sure. But first and foremost, we never like to miss an opportunity to recognize old glory. Not much of a breeze today, but standing proud nevertheless. POW MIA, not forgotten, never forget. So. 2277, Suite 1 and Suite 2. State of Utah, Department of Public Safety, Driver License Division. See what's around the back? Sure. So I don't see any uh, restricted area signs. And uh, FYI, just to let you guys know, I am exercising my two-way today as well, uh, even here on public property in Utah, uh, as long as it's not federal property, uh, is perfectly legal. And uh, I am not open carrying, I'm concealed carrying. Um, and Utah, last month, I believe, just became a constitutional carry state. Yeah, within the yeah. past uh, I think it was in, two. Yeah, I think it was May. So, uh, no need to have a uh, concealed weapons permit to concealed carry. So if an officer was to see the bulge in my shirt and uh, ask me if I have a concealed carry license, no need to answer that question. So just want to uh, put that out there and uh, always like to make you guys aware because sometimes that can put a little different spin on things. And just real quick, it is hot because it's blacktop, but real quick, any of you that are considering, if you live in a constitutional state, I hope you're carrying, and if you live in a state where you can get a uh, permit to carry and it's not constitutional, get your permit, even if you don't intend to carry. Get your permit, support the cause, and uh, yeah. So this is a different business down here. Yeah, I think even this back here is a different thing because it says something about... Uh, yeah, yeah, Tabitha's Way Food Pantry. So I think it's just from like where that black truck is over. Yeah. So we're not going to uh, 
go bother anybody that's doing their private business thing. We're not here for them. Yeah. So there's uh, Elevated Private Wealth Advisors. And here is this. Cool. Driver's license division fees. That's what part of what I'm looking for. Cool. Hi, how are you? So, um, let me just get around here. Oh, is it? Yeah, thanks. So I'm just looking for information for somebody that's moving to Utah about obtaining a driver's license, like exchanging it for an out-of-state. I don't know if there's any uh, applications I can pick up or... Um, oh, hold on, just log me out, just two seconds. Sure, no, thank you. Everything with you, okay? Okay, sure. Thank you. You said, do you have a CDL or just a regular license? It's a regular license. Okay. Nice and cool in here. It is, isn't it? Okay, wait for that number to be called and then Great. you go over. Thank you so much. Do, do I wait like here? The seat's great. Thank you. <clears throat> We have 0709 and the 0708 is at station two. Oh, look, we got cam back on. 0709 station two. Station two. That was a short walk. <laughs> How are you? Hi, how are you? Doing good, thanks. For you today. So my brother is considering moving to Utah okay. and he asked me while I'm here, I'm here visiting from Colorado. So he asked me if I could pick up some information about exchanging his Are driver's license. Not because you can't come I, why not? Because I don't want you to. Well, this is a public office. And I'm a state employee and I don't want you to film me. So you can turn that off. Turn that off. That's, I'm documenting my trip to you. I'm making a video but about I my trip to, to Utah. Me. You can turn it that way. Well, that's not the, I'm in a public area. And I'm not giving you permission to film me. But I don't believe I need permission in public, do I? I'm not, I'm, I'm not giving you permission to film me. Well, is there somebody else that'll help me then? Okay. Then I will transfer you to someone else. Okay, very good. Thank you. And what was your name? I'm going to need it to file the complaint, so can I get your name? I'm not giving it to you. You're not going to give me your name? Well, I can see that it's uh, something H. Oh, that's pretty rude of you. Not that you don't even want to identify yourself. You are being rude. I'm sorry, you're not. You're being very rude. No, I'm not. And you're being very inaccurate as well. Just a quick question for you. I'm traveling with my son and we're documenting our trip. And the young lady that just called us up to her station doesn't want me to videotape what I'm doing which is perfectly fine in a public area, in a public lobby, right? So, what is that all about? Probably she just feels uncomfortable. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, but I mean, you have, obviously you didn't say anything, so there's no issue filming inside the public lobby, right? Right. Right, okay. Uh, maybe somebody should let her know that. I don't know. She And then I asked her for her name. She wouldn't even give me her name. Okay. So that's a little unprofessional, I think. Okay. I came in very cordial. You saw yeah, him being, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I don't know if maybe you can speak to her or have a supervisor come out and speak to her? Sure. All right, thank Did you. Do you want me to answer any questions for you? Well, I would just like to get the information I was looking for and be on my way. I'm not looking to sure, give just, anybody a hard time. No, you're good. I just don't have anything. So, hold on. Let me look really No problem. But I just, you know, that's also a little, uh, she's telling me because she's a state employee, I'm not allowed to film her. That's completely inaccurate. Okay. You said you wanted a license from another state? I mean, sorry. Exchange a license from another state, yeah. Thank you. And you've been... Wonderful. I really appreciate okay. your smile and your okay, professionalism. Okay, so you need either a valid passport or a birth certificate. Okay. Social... Oh, my God. <laughs> it's the heat. Yeah. <laughs> Social security... Oh, my God. <laughs> Social security card. Thank I got you. you. And then two pieces of mail that show that you live here in Utah. Okay. Um, do you have any name change from the first document I listed? There won't be a name change. Okay. No. Um, and you said no CDL. Right. And then you have a license from another state, so it's 52. Do you know if you have a motorcycle? Uh, yes, there is a motorcycle endorsement. And um, that's 18 on top of that. Okay. You just have to pay for it and it transfers over. Gotcha. And then Fair you'll take a written test and a 
it's 25 questions open book. The book is the third one over, and then you'll do a vision test. Oh, so they have you take a test? Mm -hmm. He's in his 50s. He's got to take a test. He's not going to be happy about that. <laughs> take a book. <laughs> it's the uh, last one, then? Yeah, the last okay. book. It's open book, though. Okay. So if you come in the morning, you have till 5 o'clock. So okay. you can take all day. So Very cool. Okay. I appreciate your help, Rachel. Thank you very much. Thank you. Station 9. Station 9. There you go. Let's go to Station 9. How's it going? How's it going? What can I do for you? So I'm here for someone trying to get information about exchanging a uh, out-of-state license for a Utah license. Right. And um, this is the information I was given up by the, she said she wasn't, give didn't know if she had it all, but this is yeah. complete and correct. That's all I need. Because um, she wasn't sure if she had everything. This is the only thing that I'd be able to tell you, you know, the same thing. And okay. Like, like if I could ask you, has he or she ever had a record here? But I would be able to look They at haven't, you. no. Yeah. So if this is the first time, um, not married, or is it a is it a male or a female? Male and married. And mar but yeah. he didn't change his name, I presume. No, 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 definitely so, yeah, not. This is the exact same thing I would have given you as well. Okay. And it looks like there was something about a motorcycle endorsement. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. Perfect. Okay. Very good. And I'm sorry, what was your name? Morgan. Morgan, thank you very much, Morgan. Welcome. I appreciate all your help. No problem. And I hope the uh, young lady down at number two maybe can take a little advice from you on how to treat the public. Oh. I appreciate that. No, You've been no. very professional, very cordial, no, I appreciate you. you. Thank, thank you. you so much. And uh, Jake, I appreciate you looking out for your folks here. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. We'll be back to check on you, young lady, and that complaint will go in. I already have your name. Uh, exit this way. Thank you, Rachel. Have a wonderful day. P106 Station 9. Ugh. Heavy door. All right, well, we got called to the window by Morgan, who was a uh, sweetheart compared to uh, no name there. I don't know what that deal was all about. But, uh, yeah, interesting. Well, all right, guys, that was perfect. Uh, talk about a tale of two cities. Um, gives you visual video proof of how two different people can handle something, the same situation, two different ways, and what a different experience for both of them. Um, you know, obviously, the first girl that we sat down at the uh, station two was completely wrong. We're totally allowed to film inside the driver's license office. Um, she has no right to request not to be filmed while she's at work. And some of you might think that's a little harsh and say, oh, why don't you just, you know, she doesn't want to be filmed, don't film her. She chose to work in the public sector and she chose to open herself up to that. Um, and that's the situation she's in. Government needs transparency and accountability. And uh, you can't get that with no names and uh, no video. So uh, she was completely incorrect and I don't feel bad about uh, the way we interacted with her in there because she is again working for the public and she has an obligation to treat the public fairly and respectfully and and uh, not make up her own rules um shame she chose to do that but uh, that's the way it went then you had morgan on the other hand smile happy no problem with the camera she had her boss jake obviously standing behind her making sure everything was okay which i have no problem with and uh yeah uh just very interesting how two different people will handle things and the first lady, if that situation had stood the way it was and the police were called, would have told the police that I was harassing her, giving her a hard time. None of that was true. You, you saw the interaction with the lady at the reception, the other uh, second girl, Morgan, that helped us out. So, you know, it is what it is. And in this life, you get what you give. And uh, if you want to be treated nicely and you want to be treated with respect, you have to give that to people, especially when you take a job in the public sector and decide you want to open yourself up to that. And uh, that's what you choose to do when you voluntarily take that, uh, take that mission on for yourself. Um, but no big deal. Uh, end of the day, the other employee saved her neck. And uh, for the most part, I will give the uh, driver's license division here a pass, um, thanks to the other employees. Um, and that's it. So uh, treat people fairly. Treat people the way you want to be treated, and you'll probably get that reaction out of them, and you'll probably have that... Uh, that situation more than uh, more than not so make the world a better place you know be nice and if someone's not being nice then you know do what you got to do um so that's it 
Um, always like to remind you guys, if you enjoy our videos, let me turn around so you can see the mountains and you like what we do uh, and you want to support what we do, best way for you to do that hands down is to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff helps our channels out tremendously uh, and doesn't cost you a dime. And uh, I invite you to do the same for watching the Watchman. His channel's doing fantastic. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but, you know, it really helps us out. Those things really mean something. I say it every video, but if you could take two seconds and just hit that like button, leave a comment, tell us what you think. Um, really helps out. We thank you for that. Um, but that's it. So that's going to wrap it up. We're going to hop back in the truck, head down the road. Day is young and see what else we could find here in the Springville, Utah area for you. Uh, so coming to you from the state of Utah, Department of Public Safety Driver License Division here in Springville, Utah, watching the Watchmen. I'm against the press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.